Hello everyone, this is just a very quick tutorial on how to install fonts for Windows 7 um, which you can probably use in uh, Photoshop or After Effects or whatever um, so go onto Google Chrome or whatever your browser is and go into the web thing type in www. Uh, well you can basically use any free font website but I find this one the best 1001 freefonts com so go to that. Uh, no viruses or anything in it. Um, you know your antivirus software should pick it up if there is, but there isn't. Um, so I'm just going to use this one just as an, ex as an example. So Windows download. If you've got Google Chrome, it will obviously look like this. If you've got Internet Explorer, then just you know save the file and then put it onto your desktop. Um, make sure you have WinRAR as you well you should do in most of my videos anyway. Um, if you don't know what it is, just like search it in Google, or I'll put a link in the description to WinRAR, just because it makes everything a lot easier when you're doing stuff like this. Um, again, that's virus-free, and a widely used uh, program by surely about millions and millions of people. So just go into this, show in folder, um, and then just scroll up, or wherever, uh, find it, uh, here it is. So just uh, right-click it, and go to send to desktop and then close that down and minimize this if you want to or you can just close it down and it will be here so then what you want to do is you want to open it up um, there's quite a lot of them actually in here I don't really know which one it is um, so you might as well just uh, select all the ones that are a true, ty true type font file that one, that one and that one and then click and drag those onto your desktop um, now what you want to do is you simply just want to uh, you know, just highlight them and press install and now it will install th the fonts and to make sure just to check you know that you've got them installed uh, just type this um, into your uh, search bar um, you might as well just pause the video if you want to like find out what it is and then press enter and then you just want to find the font um, I can't actually remember exactly what it was called uh, here it is so yep, if you look um, it has actually been installed so then it should have worked I've not really tried it um, you might have to just mess around with it but um, I use After Effects because I'm trying to make an intro for it so it sh hopefully should be in there and um, I don't know if it will um, let's just get rid of this and let's just check yeah both of the heroes in there now so just the one I installed early so you just have to like if you've already got it open just restart it save your thingy and then like you know restart it it should be in here somewhere uh, there it is so yeah that's pretty much how to do it it's pretty simple um, I bet you guys thought, oh, this is going to be quite complicated, but no, it's not. Uh, if you need any help, just comment on the video, and I'll happily, uh, happily, you know, help you out. And, you know, you can just delete those back off, and uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this was uh, another good tutorial. So, uh, see you later.